Hey, how's it going guys? It's Garrett, and I usually don't do much post-production commentary on my videos, uh, but I wanted to change things up a little bit, um, mostly because we didn't really catch all that many fish and I don't really have much to show for in this video. So uh, I kind of want to make it a learning experience as well as, you know, trying different things in uh, making videos. So uh, first off, we navigated through some of the toughest fog I've ever personally seen. Uh, I had to turn on the radar for the boat, which was a first for me. And uh, I actually had to use the radar to safely navigate and avoid other boats. And it really was a lifesaver. Um, I, I could see much better on the radar than I could otherwise. We had probably 50 to 100 feet visibility. But it cleared up once we made it offshore and we headed about 45 to 50 miles offshore. So what I really wanted to talk about was uh, blue water fishing in the Panhandle region. So when you're down the Keys or in Costa Rica or all these famous regions, uh, you only have to go a couple miles to find true blue water. But in the Panhandle region, it can be as close as 20 miles in to about 100 miles out. So it really varies based on the, the watershed from, from the major rivers like the Alabama River, the Mississippi River, and, and even the Escambia River to an extent. Um, but luckily, it was only about 30, 30 miles out today. So we decided to go ahead and make a trip to try and troll and catch some pelagics such as white marlin, blue marlin, tuna, wahoo, etc. Uh, we didn't have the greatest luck, but it was definitely a, a learning experience. So I wanted to talk about where we went and uh, basically the features of, of trolling offshore in the Panhandle region. So what you're seeing now is the, De the DeSoto Canyon. And it's the most notable feature. Um, it extends probably about 20 miles offshore all the way to about 100 miles offshore. And uh, it really dictates where you're going to fish and what you're going to catch. So uh, it has a lot of notable features. Uh, the, the furthest out being the spur. Uh, it's about 65 to 70 miles off, offshore depending on where you go. And uh, it's a really good spot. Um, unfortunately, it's out of the reach for many anglers. And we do plan on making a trip out to the spur. Uh, we didn't today. Um, the next spot is the nipple, and it's the closest spot in. And uh, there you can catch wahoo, white marlin, and the occasional blue marlin even. Um, and it's probably the closest blue water, in quote, spot that you're going to find in the Panhandle region. And the last is the elbow, and it's kind of in between. It's about 40 to 45 miles, or no, 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 45 to 50 miles offshore, depending on where you're at. So that's where we deci decided to fish, and it was really based on some hot reports we had of the elbow region. So uh, we found a good rip of blue water about level with the nipple, call it 32 miles offshore. And shortly thereafter, we put in lines and, and trolled these bottom contours all the way up to the elbow. And uh, we didn't have the success we wanted, like I said, but it was still a learning experience and uh, I wanted to show it, show it to you guys. Uh, we also did some bottom fishing later on and uh, found really good spots to come back to for grouper and uh, mingo and other fish like that. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's kind of different from what I usually make, but uh, thanks for watching.
<coughs> Y'all hooked up no, together? We no, we, we doubled up. There you go, Dun Dun. Dun Dun, you want me to get that one in the middle end? Yeah. Is that Benita or two? No black This isn't waterproof, is it? Hang on, Garrett. No. I got a gas up here. I'm going to I will when it comes around. There we go. It's uh, a football black pin. <laughs> Hang on, John. I'm going to help. Exciting. Stunts all. Let me have him. Let me have him, guys. Go to picture mode? Wait, no. Wait. The tuna shake? Yeah. All right, doubled up on black fins. Yeah. All right, so we're out at the elbow. Uh, we ran across this spot, and we cannot hook up. We caught one scamp off of it, and uh, look at the screen. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, cover that. Cover up the coordinates. Um, but we got two rods going down. Good news is there's no current, so we're kind of sticking on the spot pretty good. Yeah. Alright, here we are. We're in about 350 feet of water, ran across the spot, pulled in lines and dropping to see what, what's here. I'm feeling either Mingo or Scamp. The water's so clear, we'll, we'll be able to see it from like 100, 200 feet down. We have I bet it's a Scamp. Not fighting too hard, is he? No color. It's a long ways down. Should be seeing color now. I don't yet. He's. I think he's under the boat a little bit. Yes. That looks like a scamp. That's a scamp. Heck yeah. That's a big scamp. Wow. Look at him. Uh, I don't know. That tuna. Uh, it's different than tuna. I like that. Awesome. That's a big scamp. But Mark, this is John's scamp. <laughs> nice. They're pretty. <laughs> 